In this video, I'm going to show you how to make more money selling beats, doing studio time, shooting music videos, or all three. Crack a lag on the track. What's up everyone, my name is Crack Lack. Welcome back to Crack Lack TV. Today's video is for my beat makers, my studio engineers, and videographers. I know a lot of people's goal is to make a living off of music and quit their stupid jobs. Oh God, I hate my job. And to do music full time. I don't see a lot of people doing this and I honestly feel that there's a lot of opportunities and money that people are missing out on. So my goal is to hopefully open your eyes and show you how you can make some more money. All right, story time. So I own a recording studio here in Lansing, Michigan called Crack House Recording Studio. So the other night I had a couple artists from Detroit come to my studio and they wanted me to make a custom beat for them. Then get to the money, ain't no beating around. They gotta see my P.O., I can't be around it. A girl on my head and she keep on hounding. She just want me around her. That's gotta my I can't be around it. Smooth beat, a hard beat. Uh, like a little bit of both, like kind of smooth but hard, like a hard bass line, but like smooth, like it's a type of violin type. made the beat for them, then they wanted to record the song. So I put my headphones on, put my engineer hat on, and then I recorded and mixed their song. Hey, blue light glasses? Yup. Oh, I think you heard what I said. Say it a little clear. That was fast. <laughs> we on crack time, we on real time. <clears throat> he meant to that, Sam. After that, he wanted to do a in-studio like music video for it. So, take the headphones off, get my camera bag out, pull out the camera, and then we shot a in-studio music video for the song. Get my shit on top, like it or not, I'm getting it regardless. Harder than niggas that ain't no denying. Cause got me, I kinda feel like I'm flying low. So I've been doing beats and recording and mixing songs for about 16 years and I've been doing videography for about 10, 11 years. And I feel that the three different skills go hand in hand. So by me making beats, it helps me when I'm recording and mixing songs. By me being familiar with how the DAWs set up in bars and when I'm sitting down editing a music video, it helps with that and cutting it up on beat. Also, a lot of times I find with having a studio, I have an artist come in for a studio session and then the next second they're asking me yo when can we shoot a video for this in business in general acquiring a customer is the hardest thing to do so once you've done the hard work and you actually have a customer that wants to pay you for what you do you got to put yourself in the customer's shoes and think okay the customer being a rapper or a singer and let's say they're coming to you for beats they're coming to you for a studio time or they're coming to you for video work what else do they need besides that specific thing they're going to you for so if you can do more than one thing now you're not missing out on opportunities to get money like they need money to buy a beat, then they need money to get the song recorded and mixed, then they need money to shoot a music video. So if you can be that guy that does all of those things, or even just more than one of those things, you can make more money. Could you maybe show me how to make more money with this? And there's a lot more than just these three things that I'm talking about. Like even with graphic design, like if you can learn how to do some Photoshop work, that they, they need artwork for their songs. I also own a online CD duplication company, OneDollarCDDuplication.com. And once an artist has a finished product, they want to get copies pressed up, they can go through my company for that. They don't have to look around elsewhere. With a lot of people, it's a comfort thing as well. So people like working with people that they're comfortable with. So once you've already got a customer or a artist that is comfortable working with you and spending money with you on one thing, it's very easy to get them to spend money and work with you on a second thing or a third thing. They don't have to go elsewhere and look around. That's the power of convenience. Like I, I sell snacks in my studio, why? Because of convenience. They don't have to go down to the store to look for some snacks. No, oh, you, you hungry? Boom, I got snacks right here for sale. You thirsty, you need a bottle of water? I got a bottle of water for sale. Convenience is key. The main thing is hustle. Like you gotta be a hustler. You gotta get out there and learn new things. Uh, with the internet, how it is today, 
today you can even subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm gonna be posting a lot more of tutorials showing you guys how to do the things that I do whether it's recording mixing songs or making beats or shooting music videos those are three areas that if you can lock those three down you're gonna make a lot of money for example the story that I told you guys about earlier with the artist that came to the studio there was no need after I made the beat for them to be like all right we'll see you later we got to go find a studio that we can pay to record and mix the song it was boom okay the booth is right there let's record and mix the song then there was no need to call a do you know anyone that's got a camera let's call the cameraman and get him in here so we can shoot a video like no we, we got one convenience convenience is key utilize yourself utilize your resources open your mind think man there's been a lot of customers that have found me for one specific thing and then through continuing to do business with me for that one thing and they see me through social media and that I do these other things then they reach out and be like yo how much do you charge for this they're still spending money on this thing but now they're also spending money on this as well now there's a saying jack of all trades master of none I call horse with that bull because there's so much time in the day like if with my personality type too it's a good ease of mind as well so some days if all I did was make beats every single day and that was the only thing I did I would honestly get sick of making beats you know if all I did was record and mix songs I'd get sick of doing that if all I did was shoot and edit videos I'd get sick of that it's a good change of pace like I know when I'm at home during the day I'm in video editing mode when I go to the studio I'm usually in recording and mixing song mode if I'm sitting down with an artist one-on-one -on -one or something then I'm making beats and I'm music producer mode when you're first trying to go full-time you need all of the money that you can get I remember when I first started selling beats Beats and I was only getting like 10 20 dollars here 10 20 dollars there it was barely anything but I was also recording the songs for them as well so I was getting the studio time money with that and then when I started shooting videos I was getting my little bit of beat money plus my little bit of studio time money plus my little bit of video money so those three littles added up to where it was like oh I'm making more money now than a minimum wage job and then it got more and more and more and throughout the years it's got me to where I am today the point of this is to show you that it is a constant grind it is a hustle you got to get out there and work and you got to find as many ways as you can to make more money if you want to do it full-time I'll leave you with this the average millionaire has seven sources of income so I'm introducing to you guys just three if you're interested in seeing how I do what I do or watching me do my thing I post weekly vlogs on this YouTube channel I'm gonna put a link to my most recent vlog right here leave a comment and let me know what it is that you do are you a rapper are you a music producer are you a studio engineer videographer DJ photographer let me know in the comments below I'll see you guys in the next video crack like TV we out out here feeling like a superstar. I'm in my dungeon. Back on the tutorial grind, baby. Back on them tits. On them tits for the tube. Yes.